All right, guys, it's your boy HVAC Outlaw. And today I made a short little video of wireless technology that I use on the job. And I hope you guys can get a lot of education from it today. Um, most of it is just real basic pro placement functionality of it and how it could be it could be an asset to you so i uh, hope you guys enjoy the video please like this subscribe to my page my youtube channel the hvac outlaw and i hope you enjoy the video i have the wireless probes hooked up uh i got my suction line my liquid line i got my uh way uh quick connects from way technologies uh my field piece suction and liquid line uh, pressure probes and a cool core depressor tool from AccuTools that's available at truetechtools.com and I got everything hooked up out here probe wise uh, the scale is even wireless as well and I got my measure quit application running on my tablet all these things are interconnected and what this is doing is basically going to tell me exactly what's wrong with the machine. And it doesn't replace the technician, but it does give the technician kind of a, a real shortcut to understanding what's wrong with the system. And in a minute, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to actually show you the probes that are located inside and how they are deployed. So let's go inside. Supply temp pro psychrometer up in the vent as well. I have a return pro as well. Uh, basically, I'm getting the temperature splits or just the temps in general uh, that's coming out of the supply and the temps that are going into the return. So, as you see, I have my supply air psychrometer uh, located in the vent. Make sure you put it in the vent, don't put it on the outside of the vent. Uh, make sure you put it in the vent because if you do put it on the outside, you'll get uh, a, a temperature discrepancy because you're just getting the temperature that's flowing up, back in, and the surrounding temperature. So you definitely want to make sure you go up in the vent and it has a handy magnetic uh, uh, gripping uh, part on it to uh, stick to any sheet metal, of course. So, All right, here's my return probe. Um, my return probe is supposed to be located on the outside because you want to get that temperature of air that's going actually into the return. So you can just put it right on the return plate and leave it just like that. Make sure it's kind of centered and uh, that will calculate the temperature going into the actual equipment. All right, so I'm using the measure clip app along with my field piece probes and we're in AC systems test and the unit's been running for about 20 minutes now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this flag over here in this corner, which is basically my diagnostic uh, tool. And it tells me exactly what could be possibly wrong based on the possibilities. Uh, so right now you see the suction line temp is too high, capacity, sensible capacity is below 90%. System may be undercharged. TXB lost charge or plug stuck or closed or restriction may be in liquid line. So what we're gonna do is based on the information here, we can clearly see that our suction pressure is low and so is our head pressure, which is a possible indication of a low refrigerant charge. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go here to this icon, which is my trending line. And if you hit it again, which is, just, it turns into like a little dial or a little clock or a little uh, gauge or whatever, it'll go to what they call systems vitals mode. And system vital mode basically is gonna give you calculations based on the algorithm that's in MeasureQuick to properly charge the system. So what it actually is basically to start a charge, we're gonna hit this button. It's gonna say uh, confirm selected refrigerant. It's a 1408 system. So we're gonna hit that button right there. We're gonna choose charge method, which is gonna be, it's a TXV. So we're gonna go with subcooling as our uh, measurement. Uh, metering device adjustable? No, we've checked that. Subcooling target confirm. We're gonna go right at 10. Confirm that off the nameplate. Uh, confirm nominal airflow, which basically is if you're dealing with a 300 
CFM or 400 CFM system per ton. So we're already at the 400. So we're already good to go. Refrigerant, yes, it's in the system. Uh, we're gonna enter the charge on the nameplate, which has already been entered before I got here. I uh, put the, uh, the amount of uh, refrigerant that was actually in the system. So that's good. We're gonna hit submit. Filters were clean, check the filters. Blower is clean, we check the blower. Condenser is clean, I check the condenser. Blower type. So this type of ring unit has a ECM. So we're gonna hit that ECM button and it's gonna tell me what is the ECM setting. All right, now that we got all the information in, we're gonna hit start system. And basically what it's telling me is that I need to add roughly 15 ounces of refrigerant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zero out. I'm gonna zero out my uh, my wireless uh, scale. Oh, let's see. One. Well, I need my scale on number one. <laughs> Cut my scale on. All right, now we should be able to do it. There we go. So we're zeroed out. Uh, let's try it again. Try to get it close to zero as you possibly can. I know wind do disturb these sensitive scales. So it's saying add 15 ounces of refrigerant. So what I'm going to do is I already have my my uh, line hose look hooked up to my tank. Uh, make sure you. Uh, turn this tank upside down because you're charging a blended refrigerant. So you want to charge it in as a liquid But when you do this you want to crack this open just a little bit. Just let it creep in You don't want to go full blast and flood the compressor with liquid So make sure that when you open this up, you just slightly open it up Just to hear a little hiss. That's all you want So Let's uh, let's put this on units so we know exactly how many ounces we're putting in. So we're at 0 0.07. All right, we'll let that go in real slow. We ain't in no rush. Like I said, you don't want to slang no liquid off into that compressor and possibly damage it and then you're going to be on the hook for that all right so we put a just a little bit over, not much. So we put 15 ounces into this. All right. So we're gonna hit this log and tear. So basically we just know we did 15 ounces. So that's recorded. And we're gonna let the system keep running. It's gonna say wait for system to stabilize. And pretty much every time you do whatever it asks you to put in, it's going to go for a wait for system to stabilize. And then it's going to tell you exactly uh, what the next next uh, amount of charge should possibly be. So what I'm going to do is, is uh, I'm going to sit the foam down. Go and get this thing charged up correctly. But you kind of get a, a gist of how you do it. And uh, hopefully that, that, that helps you guys out that want to go wireless technology and use Measure Quick, Field Piece, Testo or numerous other wireless probes that work with measure quit applications so hopefully that was uh, able to help you kind of get you started guided into the to, to the wireless technology um arena so there you go guys All right, so it says charge is complete. Uh, put a total of 85 ounces in here. 
uh, saying go in decrease airflow, which means I probably got to go in there and adjust the uh, the ECM motor. Uh, but other than that, uh, we're at roughly about 10. Uh, remember, it's going to regulate because it's a THV, but we definitely got uh, 10 degrees of subcooling going on there. And good to go. So I'm going to go in and do the rest of my job, but that's a quick tutorial on how to use the uh, wireless tech technology uh, field piece probes is what I use and measure quick application to uh, diagnose the system so there you go all right guys there you go video I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it now make sure you click on that like button subscribe to my page the HVAC outlaw and go to www.truetechtools.com where you can find all the latest technology that's hitting the industry. Make sure you use Outlaws with a Z as your promo code and receive 8% off your purchase. Financing options are available. Thank you and keep going. Blue Collar Strong.